Here at Remar College, we can get you prepared for the 31st century advanced programming in quad rendering and Java++ plus 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 scripting language. So upgrade your green matter, cause one day it may matter, may matter, may matter, may matter. Welcome to the first episode of Braemar College. I'm the Diamond Dad and I'm broadcasting to you live from somewhere out here in the Milky Way. These broadcasts are designed to help make the world of crypto a little less convoluted, a little bit more approachable, and maybe, just maybe, a little bit more understandable. So sit back, open your ears, and get ready for today's topic. It's all about the network effect, cryptocurrencies, and how they both relate to one another. So what is the network effect? Investopedia describes it as follows. The network effect is a phenomenon whereby increased numbers of people or participants improve the value of a good or service. The concept of the network effect popped up around the 20th century and is known as Metcalfe's Law which states that the value of a network is tied directly to the number of users connected to that network. For an example, let's look at a telephone network. If there are only two people with phones, it's not very valuable because they could only call each other. But the more people that join and the more numbers added, the faster and more popular it becomes. This is calculated by the mathematical equation n to the second power. So what is the math on that? I seriously have no idea. I'll leave that up to Wells only and his team of super brains. All I know is as you add more people to the network, it becomes exponentially more valuable. And the more valuable the network becomes, the more people want to join the network. Internet is a great example of this. Originally, the internet was just full of basement dwelling giga nerds. But over time, more websites, more chat rooms, and most importantly, more cat videos started to show up on the network, and it became infinitely more popular. The point we need to understand here is that the value of a network is not necessarily based on the goods and services of that network, but on the network itself. So what makes a network sticky? Or in other words, what makes people stick to a network once they have arrived in the first place? To understand this feature, let's look at two shining examples of Metcalfe's law in full effect. First, MySpace. MySpace was a website that was designed to accelerate exponentially on the back of the network effect. But it added a new element. The element of relationships. MySpace was the first of its kind. A new type of space where the currency was relationships. Or as we know them today, social networks. See, MySpace was incredibly sticky, because once you became connected to the space, it incentivized you to continue to interact with it, and it became widely effective. Well, it was, until it wasn't. Like many first-generation ideas, there is always someone out there that is willing to copy your idea, change one or two things, and launch it as their own. Why did Facebook all but kill MySpace? I neither know, nor care. But the point remains the same. The best networks out there aren't just ones that provide a functional service, but ones that incentivize the users to continue to interact with the service. So what does the network effect have to do with cryptocurrencies? First, let's define what we mean when we say crypto. A crypto is any form of currency that only exists digitally that usually has no central issuing or regulating authority, but instead uses a decentralized system to record transactions. Simply put, crypto is internet money. So how does this internet money generate value? That's where the network effect comes in. The invention of Bitcoin, the first blockchain, was able to do something truly revolutionary. Bitcoin literally monetized the network effect. 
See, the more people willing to join the network and place their trust in it, the higher the price goes. It really is quite simple. People are willing to enter the network at a price, so they join. Some people think the network becomes overvalued, so they leave. So what makes crypto sticky? This is where we run into one of the first big problems of cryptocurrencies as an asset. The only thing that makes most cryptos sticky is the price going up. Making money and seeing your investment grow is incredibly sticky. But on the flip side of that, losing money has the opposite effect. And when the user's only incentive is making money, as soon as they stop, there really is no incentive to stick around anymore. I'll leave you with these final thoughts. If the value proposition of most cryptocurrencies is the monetization of the network effect, would it not make sense to try to develop a product that was stickier? Something that incentivized the users to hold it? Also, as we reflect on the downfall of the first social network, MySpace, could it be that Bitcoin and similar products are just waiting around for the Facebook of cryptos to come along and knock them off their top spot? These are great questions, but questions we're going to have to save for another day. Until then, I encourage you to continue to upgrade your gray matter, because one day it may matter. Till next time, the Diamond Dad is signing off.